Hey guys, Wonklo here. I hope all of you are doing really well and having a fantastic day. I want to show you something cool that I'm working on and that you will shortly be able to use on your FedEx. So let's get started and right into it. So here we go. We are now on VS Code my IDE where I do all the testing and stuff like that. I did a couple of changes and I want to show you something that's pretty cool and what I do think is really useful for some of you guys. Because I was working lately on something. To bring it to the point, I was just making sure that you can use IPv6 on your BitX. I want to quickly show you what exactly was going on. Like I don't want to go too deep into all the things that we do have. We basically have this file called connect.c and in there is a lot of things going on for the networking and how your device connects to the network and so on, yada, yada, yada. I was basically enabling IPv6 on your BitX and then I needed to do a couple of changes in the stratum configuration. So the way how your BitX communicates with a pool. With all these changes and a little bit of testing, I was able to connect to some of the IPv6 pools. And I wanna show you that today because I do have mine currently running on a boilerplate Bitcoin address again on my current local instance. And what we want to do is we want to hop over to the pools and one pool that is really known for being really well and working great is the pool from CK pool. So really a huge shout out over to him, but he does have a IPv6 address for this as well. And I'm using the European one because it does have the lowest ping or the lowest response time to me. So EU solo six dot CK pool dot org. This is all I need to do here. And uh, I can change the fallback address to the four. Technically speaking, I could also use the IPv6 address. So you see, I can now press save. I can hit on restart. And now my BitX, which I do have down there, is rebooting and we will go over to the locks page here you see now it's ramping up and we give it a couple of seconds so that we do see the connection that is being introduced very shortly here we go we can make a quick hold we see we have a connection over to the address you also see this is the ipv6 address so if i do copy this instead of using eu solo.6 uh, solo pool.org. I could also use this address. This also works locally. So if you do have an IPv6 pool on a pool running at home, like a public pool, and you use IPv6, you can connect it. So if I go over to the pool page, I can put in the IPv6 address of eusolo.ckpool.org. One thing that obviously is not working is if you put in something like stratum plus tcp, double points or slash, and then whatever address that's not working, it does not let you save save that. And the reason being is you only need to paste in the actual URL or the stratum host URL without the stratum plus TCP. It's not needed because we do that for you. It's just convenient. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just working perfectly. I'm currently testing that. And I just wanted to bring you guys with me on the journey of testing that and making sure it works because yeah, it's, it's just a fantastic thing. I, I don't know why I was not thinking about it earlier. And this brings me to a good point that I want to make here is I always try to make sure that I do review as much as possible, but sometimes there's just too much. And currently we have roughly 100 issues open on GitHub. Not all of them are necessary. Some of them are probably just questions, but I haven't cleared them up yet. I, I didn't have the time for doing that. But the perfect thing about that is like the issue for people asking, or there was someone a while back ago who asked, hey, can we please introduce IPv6 onto the BitX? And nobody worked on that. So yesterday or two days ago, I was like, well, maybe I should do that. I was playing around with IPv6 in my local network anyway, because I wanted to get used to that kind of stuff. It took me probably like six to seven hours to actually set up my entire network on an IPv6 address and everything else and making sure it's properly configured. IPv6 is a mess. But the idea of this video here is to tell you, even if your issue that you opened on GitHub does not get any recognition instantly, 
It might take a while, but at some point we work on that, especially if we do have time. Today was the day I had a, a little bit of time to finalize it. It is working. A friend of mine is testing it and a couple other people on the Discord server are also testing that. And depending on that, we will probably merge that and it will, in my opinion, come to the next release of your BitX firmware. But here's the catch. If you don't know how IPv6 works or if you're not used to it or your configuration is just ass, I'm sorry for saying that, then, well, you might find yourself in a little bit of trouble. But the good thing here is you can still use the same addresses as before, even if you go back to just using a local address, an IPv4 address, everything works. It's still working here. So this is more or less just an update video for you guys to give you a quick glimpse in the work that I was doing here and giving you the courage, hopefully, to step up. And if you do have any cool ideas or you want to have something fixed on the BitX, just open up an issue and maybe at some point some of us developers will take a look into that. Till then, I hope you guys keep hashing and see you on the next one. Peace out.